Hi, I'm Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com with more viewer questions. This one is from a YouTube viewer and they ask, my piano teacher today told me that lifting those middle three fingers up and out of the way causes enormous tension all the way through your arms and that while playing octaves, you need to rest your middle three fingers on the keys in a relaxing position directly contradicting your video. Please help me. All right. Well, you know, your teacher's absolutely right. Relaxation in piano playing is absolutely essential because if you have tension, you can cause hand problems and you want to be very relaxed. But the fact of the matter is octaves do require strength. You know, as you develop strength, you can play in a more relaxed manner. Now, what I describe is a hand position that allows kind of dual arches. You have an arch going this way, kind of like the letter C, and you also have an arch going this way. And why is this necessary? Well, if your middle fingers are hitting the keys, you're going to have sloppy octaves because some of those notes are going to sound. It's virtually impossible to have these, the pinky and thumb firm and the other three fingers completely relaxed. I don't know anybody who can do that. Now, if your teacher can do that, that is a very uh, interesting technique that I'd like her to share, and I welcome her to, to comment on the video. But if you look at virtually any pianist um, on YouTube, pretty much all of them keep the three fingers out of the way to get clean octaves. Now, I grew up with very small hands. I still indeed have small hands, but I, my hands were naturally very weak, and it took me a long time to develop strength. If your hands are strong, you can maintain an octave position in a relaxed manner. So that's where your teacher is absolutely right. And perhaps that's what she's driving at in trying to get you to make sure that you don't have tension in maintaining your hand position. So my recommendation is work thoroughly practicing octaves throughout your practice, but take breaks so you don't strain yourself. And over time, you'll develop enough strength so you can maintain an octave position and develop brilliant octaves. Thanks so much for the question. And I am Robert Estrin. Welcome all kinds of questions from all of you. And I'll do my best to answer every one of them as long as time allows. Thanks for joining me here at livingpianos.com.